Over the past three years, FAO has undertaken light rehabilitation of irrigation facilities throughout Syria. We estimate that around 100,000 farm households have benefited directly, with around 55,000 hectares of land coming back under irrigation. Let us explain first, what do we mean by light rehabilitation? Usually, light rehabilitation works involve replacement of equipment which was damaged or stolen. Pumps, pipes, motors. Also, reshaping and restoring of distribution channels which have been out of use for a number of years. How do we decide where? First, we always assess the natural resource base. Is water available? Can it be exploited sustainably? And second, we select areas based on high numbers of people in need, based on the humanitarian needs overview, and the technical feasibility of providing irrigation water cost-effectively. In the planning stage, FAO discusses with the community what crops are grown and how much water might be needed, and plan for the creation of a community-run water user association to ensure operation, maintenance, and local ownership of whatever scheme is put in place and to ensure community involvement in decisions taken over how to allocate the water. Now, here are a few examples of FAO's rehabilitation works. In Homs, FAO worked to carry out light rehabilitation at Arrastan with work on relining ditches and rebuilding the field irrigation infrastructure to provide irrigation water to around 20,000 farm families and support the creation of six local water user associations to manage irrigation on behalf of the community. قامت منظمة الفاو بإصلاح بيوت الري الموجودة وقمنا نحن هلا جمعية مستخدمي المياه من أجل تقسيم الماء بين المزارعين والفلاحين كل مين حسب مساحة أرضه وحسب الساعات الموجودة لهذا العمل. In Deir Ezzor, along the banks of the Euphrates. The organization rehabilitated 15 low-lift pumps, providing water to several hundred farm households. Water resources are managed by a set of water user associations. In Aleppo, at Sfira, FAO was involved in the rehabilitation of small local pumping sets, rehabilitating irrigation schemes to allow farmers to return to abandoned farmland to the southeast of the city. Care was taken to ensure land was reoccupied by the original owners through community involvement in the activity. The area is now cultivated and productive. In rural Damascus, at Wadi Barada, Groundwater wells were rehabilitated. Here, the need was to restore irrigation networks to prevent drinking water from being used for irrigation. In this case, upstream and downstream water access issues were important factors in the design of the project. Also in rural Damascus at Derbol, supplemental irrigation needed rehabilitation for small commercial cherry growers. The area had previously been out of government control for some time, and here again there had been significant tensions over water access rights. فلاح رجع استعاد نشاطه بعد ما تنفذت المشاريع وده ملاحظ الشبكة الموجودة بالأرض والفلاح رجع عاد غرس أرضه من أول وجديد إذا ملاحظ في غراس عمرة سنة أو سنة زرعت لأنه صار عنده طمأنينة إنه المي اللي راح توصل لل للحقل تبعه راح تكفيه وتزيد عنه سابقا كان يصير عنا مشاكل بين الفلاحين انه هالمي نحن عنا موزعة انا بيطلع لي مثلا عشر ساعات العشر ساعات كانوا يروي لي نص الحقل تبعي فيجي جاري بده ياخذ الحصة تبعه فاختلف انا انا ما خلصت وخلصت وما خلصت فهي كانت تسبب لنا مشاكل Finally in Qunaytira FAO worked in a number of villages to identify wells to be rehabilitated to provide sustainable community access to water for supplemental irrigation for fruit orchards and vegetables, and to set up schemes for solar drip irrigation for groups of 20 farmers. In this, we had to take care to design systems so as not to overexploit groundwater. 